All right, this is a really quick video, and I wanted to bring Newton back to show you that he is alive. <laughs> but through my years of doing Wing Chun, and I thought it would be the scariest thing ever, because Halloween is just uh, the next day, tomorrow. The five, count them. Five dumbest questions I've ever heard in my lifetime in Wing Chun. Not necessarily asked to me, but whether I was in a seminar and I heard this, I'm telling you, these are really questions that people ask. Um, number one, <laughs> can, you do, can, you, <laughs> can you do sticky hands with no arms? <laughs> and I remember this, this was a seminar back in 95, 96 or something like that. Someone asked that. <laughs> and basically the answer is no, you have no arms, you can't do sticky hands at all. And uh, I can't remember the look on the face of my, of my seafood when someone asked that. Sticky <laughs> All right, so that was the first one. Can you do sticky hands with no arms? All right, and I don't want any email from people who have no arms saying that I'm making fun of them. <laughs> but then again, how would they type that? That's notes. <laughs> that's wrong. That's, New <laughs> that, that's Newton's joke. But I'm just saying. That, uh, all right. The second one I remember is, all right, let's say you're in a dark alley and all of a sudden you're walking and then you get hit from behind. What happens? <laughs> and this responds back to that. Uh, I can't remember word for word. was basically, so if you're walking in a dark alley, one, you're stupid. Two, if you get hit from behind, what happens? You die. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> that was the second uh, dumbest question I've ever heard. I mean, there's no actual order. I'm just going by reference here. Uh, what's the other one? I can't even read what I wrote. Uh, uh, which one is it? Shifting a noise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the third question was Is it a good idea to sh practice shifting on ice? Uh, <laughs> You can, you can. I guess that's not so bad. It's just, it just caught me off guard when I heard it at the time if someone would practice shifting on ice. You can sh shift on ice because it looks fun and it's cool, but yeah, you're not developing anything on that. Um, the, four, the fourth question was, is Bruce Lee the best fighter ever? No. Uh, the fifth question is on Yichi Kim Ma. Does the stance, is the stance used to block a kick? Okay. Now, a lot of times, basically, your, your stances, I've seen people do, I was actually taught to do stance like this, because when you shift off here, look at this area here, like, I, I can block a kick from that. So imagine, Noon's there, and he does that shift, it's kind of like a 70-30, I lean back a little, and then he's going to use this leg here. So, in other, in other words, this is actually protecting him from a groin, all right? So obviously, there's no way I can go like this and kick him. All right, and that's it for today. But no, seriously, these are, I don't know if it's the top five, I'm sure there's more, but for whatever reason, this has always stuck out to me as far as questions people have asked, as far as questions. <laughs> All right, hopefully you enjoyed that and have a good Halloween.